Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. So let's have a look at the characters from this awesome custom Space Marine Army phase. Uh, we've got three great models to have a look at, two Primaris Ancients, and then also we've got a Phobos a Lieutenant in a really cool dynamic pose. Uh, so we'll start by having a look at the Phobos Lieutenant, a really, really cool model uh, that has absolutely loads of detail. They've got the great smoke plume on the base as well, just from that grenade, which I think is brilliant. There's loads of little intricate details on there. If we just get to focus, you can see all the little areas of painting details that have been put onto that smoke to add sort of intricacy to the smoke um, you've got this really cool dynamic pose as I mentioned where he's just bounding forward about to uh, have someone with a knife um, Simon's done a great job across this force with all the little details across the uh, the miniatures you've got a little bit of weathering on the leather of the pouches um, you've also got the uh, the extra little details like the screens and things on the wrists and armor all done um, this chap has got loads of text all on the purity seals as you can see here if we just get that to focus uh, and again a really lovely lovely model uh, just in that awesome dynamic charging attacking pose Pose. Uh, so that's just the Phobos Lieutenant. We'll then have a look at these two awesome uh, Primaris Ancients uh, with freehand banners. Uh, you've got the word Repent just written on this one. And then moving around you can see all the areas of detail across the armour, all really sharply painted and highlighted. Uh, really nice white helmets on these uh, Primaris Marines as well, just to show their sort of ancient status. Uh, you've got all the little script and details just done on the little uh, sort of shield kind of t parts of uh, material on the uh, on the sort of banner. Uh, and Simon's done a really lovely job of uh, doing sort of like a textured kind of cloth detail on the banners as well, which I think is just great. So that's just the first of the two. Uh, the second one, again, same consistency from model to model with the, regards to the armour and the highlighting and all those details uh, but again the banner this one with the word mortis on it again you've got you've got lovely texture and all those details done on the banner nice check sort of square pattern on that side and again you've got all the scripture and everything done just on this side of the banner uh, but overall a really lovely set of three characters uh, for the army so let's have a look at all the infantry from this custom Space Marine chapter phase. Uh, again, nice selection of models. We've got some Hellblasters, we've got some Eliminators, and then we've got some Infiltrators as well. So there's 20 Infiltrators, 10 Hellblasters, and then you've got six Eliminators. Uh, great selection as well, as I've mentioned. So let's jump in and have a look. We'll start with the uh, the sort of Infiltrators. Again, I've always liked the Infiltrator kit. I think it's got loads of excellent sort of posability and also loads of great little details, like all the little lenses and screens and things that these guys are covered in. Um, again, got this chap here just obviously uh, advancing with the knife drawn uh, it's seen obviously a very close victim uh, again done it in a darker color than the standard armor for the other marines in this force and that's to show their stealthy kind of like infiltration kind of uh, color scheme uh, chosen by our client again a really really cool idea just to denote those models from the force when all seen out displayed together uh, so that's just the first of the infiltrators um, and we'll pull forward a few more from the different squads just so you can see you have got this chap here just about to draw his knife again with the bolter kind of sort not stowed but just uh, sort of guarded again all the little screens across the force done in a lovely green so just a complementary green to just really pick those out uh, across the force on the uh, bolters on the backpacks on the heads and all the different areas that there are lenses uh, so that's just another one uh, we've got a few others from this left squad just so you can see a nice selection of them but again Simon's done a really lovely job of all the extra little details that come across they've got the uh, ribbed armor there all highlighted with the sort of a silver which is nice all the flesh and faces and eyes and everything all painted on these across all the miniatures uh, to a really, really concentric finish. Again, just another chap there aiming with his pistol. Uh, pull some from the central squad. Again, you've got this chap here that's just got uh, extra little details on his wrist, uh, all the screens and everything all painted with little blips and icons and things. Uh, loads and loads of areas on this guy with a little radar dish as well on his back. So that's just him. Um, let's pull forward uh, what I'd like to think is one of the sergeants perhaps from the force and you've got this guy here just ordering the rest of his uh, chums on to uh, give some other people a bad day so that's just this guy you've got all the scratches and things on the leather work nice texture applied to those uh, really really sharp edge highlighting across all the armoured panels across this, this sort of phase of this army and uh, we have done four of these phases now so if you would like to see other ones then uh, you find videos for those on the channel also another infiltrator here again you can see all the screens and lenses all fully painted uh, really 
really sharp highlighting across all of the armor. And again, I do love the blue accent on the backpack just to complement the other armor color from the rest of the force, like normal Primaris Marines. Again, the knee pad as well, just shown there. So that's just another one. Uh, and then let's move on to the uh, Eliminators. I really do love the Eliminator kit. Awesome, awesome sniper models. Uh, huge rifles, obviously, with all the scopes and lenses all done on these guys. Uh, again, you can see all the purity seals with full text work done on them. I do incidentally love the basing on across this force. You've got obviously like this sort of deserty sort of marshland kind of uh, basing scheme. Uh, again, you've got the uh, really, really dark sort of uh, shawls over these guys to match their sort of dark armor. And again, you can just see the touches of the blue normal army color just showing on the knee pad and uh, backpack and on the uh, trim of the uh, shoulder guard there. Uh, so that's just one of the uh, eliminators. Pull forward uh, what, the sergeant from the squad on the right. Again, he's got his goggles and everything all painted again with those lenses just with a green glow. Uh, so that's just uh, this chap. Uh, and then we'll pull the last one from the right uh, Eliminator squad just so you can have a look at him. Again, a really, really awesome model. Again, with massive purity seals that have got all that writing done on them. Uh, but every single armor panel fully edged to a really, really clean finish. Uh, which is what you should expect from us here at Siege. Let's jump in the middle and have a look at the Hell Blasters. Start with the Sergeant. Do really, really like the uh, the colorway on the Sergeant models. They've all got black helmets, uh, the Sergeants, uh, for the normal Primaris, and you've got this stripe there on the pad. Uh, green glow on all the plasma weapons as well, and I do like the fact that you've got a nice bit of copper, sort of brass work done on there, uh, just to sort of add extra detail to the weaponry. Again, you can see the text and everything done on the Purity Seal. This guy's got his own unique heraldry on his tilt shield. He's got like a quartered scheme on there, and you've got those red lenses as well just to really make the eyes uh, definitely definitely stand out on the miniature so that's just the sergeant we'll pull forward a few of the uh, hell blasters so you can have a look at those uh, again just a really cool pose just advancing here uh, the plasma weapons are absolutely huge like they've really gone up in size obviously to match the sort of size of the primaris which i do really really like again you can see the pouches always scratches and sort of added texture onto them to denote that they're material uh, so that's just one of the uh, hell blasters i'll pull forward one or two more just so you can have a look at them let's have a look at the guy that's shooting Again, same consistency across all the miniatures, uh, just so you can see, we pull quite a selection few forward so you can have a look at them. Uh, again, slightly lighter in colour from the top as well with darker undertones on the sort of shaded areas, which I do really like. Uh, so that's just this shooting hill blaster. And then to finish off, let's have a look at the uh, the other eliminators, just with the other other rifle, which is the LAS rifle. Uh, or the laser, um, the laser uh, carbine, I think they're called. I can't remember what they're called. So if you know the name of the rifle, put it in the comments. I've totally forgotten. Uh, but that's the other loadout for the Eliminators. Uh, I think it's a LAS Fusilade, if memory serves correct, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you've got the power cables and everything going to the pack. Uh, and again, just spotted a victim here, just ready to, uh, to uh, give him a bad day. Uh, but Simon's done a great job of just picking out those little details across the miniatures. Uh, so that's just the first one. And let's have a look at the Sergeant from that uh, left squad. Uh, again, exactly the same detail work and consistency across all of these, but again, all the lenses and everything fully painted as you'd expect from us here at Siege. So that's just the uh, sergeant. And then the final one, let's have a look at him. And obviously in a shooting pose being that he's a, uh, he's a sniper. Uh, so that's just the final one. Again, I do really like that the cloth work matches the armor, just so he really can hide extremely well by using that cloth compared to his armor. So that's just the last one. Do hope that you like the, all the infantry. So let's have a look at all of the armor and walkers for this army phase. And there's a nice selection of miniatures. You've got some Invicta war suits and also three impulses. Uh, lots of transports to take those uh, Primaris uh, intercessors into combat. And then we've got some sneaky Invicta war suits uh, in their darker scheme to match the infiltrators uh, earlier on in the video. Uh, so look, let's have a look at them. The impulses are all magnetized. So the options are all interchangeable for our clients uh, just to give maximum flexibility of kit. Uh, something that we do here for a lot of customers uh, that could come to us for their armies so if you are interested in that just so you're aware we do do full magnetization uh, let's have a look at the first impulsor a really really awesome model i do love the open back so they can just leap in and out as they so wish uh, but again you can see all the screens and everything fully done on these impulsors just all the little dials blips and buttons all done there uh, just to really give that actual sort of attention to detail and accuracy all the purity seals and things on those shrines in the back also done uh, again nice sort of weathering on the uh, sort of tread plated area just to show that the, you've had lots of marines jumping in and out of the uh, of the model and um, again you've got all the little weathering parts on all the sort of grab plates uh, which is really cool uh, and a lovely subtle tonal variation on the side of the tank just where the light's catching that sort of uh, kind of like black blue kind of color that the uh, army's got uh, which is really lovely uh, so that's just uh, the loadout with all of the guns uh, and again these are all interchangeable for our clients that's the first impulsor 
pull forward the other one that's got the uh, the shield on it which is quite cool uh, so this is just the other uh, version of it again same attention across all three of the models uh, but you have the different loadout of different things on this one uh, again just there so again you can see all of these bits are fully magnetized just to change around uh, as you can see there uh, so that's just uh, the second of the uh, three impulses very much the same uh, we'll have a look at the last one, which has obviously the uh, missile pod on top, which I do really like. Uh, you can't sort of knock a little missile as you're uh, going up the board, which is quite cool. All the lenses done in green, just to complement the rest of the infantry, and also really make those lenses and lights stand out on the miniature. All the missiles and everything picked out in white and red, which I do think works extremely well. Again, seeing the inside, just the consistency of all the models, you've got all the screens and everything done there, uh, just to really make those stand out. And again, you've got that great sort of uh, deserty marshland kind of basing scheme across this force and all the other phases which we've completed for our client. Uh, next, let's have a look at those sneaky Invicta War suits. And again, as I mentioned, all painted in that darker infiltrator kind of colorway uh, just to match all of the other infiltrators we've done in this phase and also in previous phases um, again when this came out a really really cool model uh, with loads of little details which just are gonna make it stand the test of time you've got uh, nice copper accents on some of the servos and things on the armor which I do really like all the purity seals painted there with text as you'd expect from us uh, and again all the lenses done inside the suit and also on the pilot uh, as well so that's just the uh, first of the three Invictors and I do really like again those lovely subtle nods to the, the actual blue color of the chapter on these sort of uh, infiltration units you've got some scratches and things just on some of the plates which is quite nice uh, just selectively done uh, and again we've got some really nice super pristine clean silver steel on these guys as well which i do really like so that's just uh, the first of the uh, three we'll have a look at the next one just here at the back um, and uh, again same consistency on all the models uh, again you see this one's just uh, sort of advancing a little bit not standing as stoic or, or sort of still uh, mag locked the heavy bolter as well so he's got an open claw ready to grip someone undoubtedly uh, and again this is just this uh, really really cool Invicta also and I do like the way that the missiles are also done in a white just to make those stand out which I think is quite lovely uh, so that's just uh, the th uh, second of the, of, the, uh, of the three and then we'll pull forward the last one just because it's got the uh, the flamer on it and the other two have got the auto cannons you've got uh, these awesome awesome weapons here all movable as you'd expect um, and again we've got the uh, the flamer here just with loads of sort of subtle sort of chip and stuff on the uh, on the metal work which I think works extremely well they're very clean miniatures but where the where sort of like griminess and sort of grit is needed it is done on the miniatures which I think works extremely uh, lovely across the models and the, the force in general uh, so that's just the third of these Invictors I do really hope you have liked uh, this force it's now being sent off to join the rest of the chapter to go and serve our client extremely well So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.